Ooh, listen to that music. So welcome to my Bloodborne test run video for my channel. So if you're here for KOF, which is kind of where I got most of my subscribers that I am now, all like 12 of you, KOF videos will still be made. Um, this is just like a test. I'm testing like a new mic setting. See if this is a little better, a little clearer. Let's get started. I probably couldn't have chosen oh, a more yeah. overdone yeah. game, I bet. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of yarn and blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. So yeah, I'm ready for this, man. I haven't played this in a little while. I've only beaten this, I think, twice. And I got partway through a third run. And I've only beaten the, all the DLC once too, and that DLC is fucking amazing. So I'm looking forward to maybe getting there in this series. Who fucking knows? Anyway, let's see. Oh shit, so I was hoping this was going to be low effort to edit. Because that KOF stuff takes a while, man, I tell you. Especially since I suck at it. But I think I'll have to fucking like immediately start cutting here. So much for no work. Actually, hold on. How do I? I got it. I got. I have to have a saved. Jesus, <laughs> I forgot that. Characters in uh, all the Souls games are pretty ugly. You have to like really work if you want them to be passable. Oh man, I forgot about this dude. No, don't save it. Load favorite. Damn. <laughs> well, she's whatever. That's the first character. She's okay. I'll work with that. I don't fucking care. I just more like the hair and I like red hair. Got pl Enter a name, Jesus. All right. This is where like every other tuber would like take so long to make a stupid joke name, right? Like fucking like, oh, I can't fit butthole. Period blood in here. Oh, what the? F oh, whoa. <laughs> ooh, it's off to a great start. I can't believe I was typing that out subconsciously. What the fuck? That was seriously an accident. All right, I'm just gonna fucking go with the name that I went with before. Who cares? Glothlin. I'll do Glothling to make it. I use Siri a lot for some games. If I make a female character, did I go with professional the first time? And then I ended up going a route that wasn't skill based. See, that's the beauty of the, the Souls games. It doesn't matter what you pick at the beginning that much. I'm just gonna fuck it. Milk toast. Who gives a fuck? I've never picked that one. Start playing. Jeez, it's been like t like 20 minutes. Oh, we're into my my souls pedigree in a sec. My repertoire. So I am pretty qualified to be to be let's playing this. I can't believe the loading screens used to be longer, man. If you played this game at launch, you know. All signed and that Bloodborne logo was etched into your brain. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream.
You found yourself a hunter. I love how intensely short that opening cutscene is. You get right to it. That's the beauty of some of the soul well, pretty much all the Souls games. They're not fucking around, they get right to it. Really commendable. I mean I don't even have a thing against cutscenes at all in particular. But there's always like lore if you want it, which is great, but if you don't care for it, you don't have to look for it at all. You can just play the game. So it's there if you want it, and it's there if you want to ignore it. Starting off too with like a bit of mystery, like who are you? Where do you come from? You, you know, you heard that about the pale blood at the beginning. You got the whole the pale blood which transcends the hunt message. And then it, what's interesting, you can always go through the items and stuff and always read the lore and find out the information. So you can like look at your clothing because that's like really only, the only identifiable thing about you, right? And you read that and you find out that. You know, I mean, it's vague. It's, it's supposed to be vague, so you can kind of insert your own, your own, uh, your own fanfic, if you will. But you you start looking at that, and you, you know, you're from another land. The clothing's not typical for Yarnum. Besides, without the memory you have, so it doesn't even matter anyway who you are. Looks like there is a, some sort of blood transfusion. You have bandages on you that has some unknown blood on it still more untypical trousers I mean I wait no matter what character I play I always take off the hood <laughs> I wanna be able to see man that fucking the characters are always big and kinda lanky and like very broad shouldered no matter which gender you play it makes sense design wise but this is a, such a cool clinic and you can wreck everything by rolling into it as part of the the soul's uh, mechanics. It's always there. Am I gonna should I kill this wolf? All right, so let's see. Oh, let me let me see him fuck up this wolf. So you can run away from him for sure. He's there chowing down on that that corpse. So let's see. This is gonna be a. Oops. Oh, this is so weird to play. I, I the last Souls game I was playing was Dark Souls 3, and I was playing that for a while. My Windows PC is making some noise right now. Uh, so distractions everywhere right now. I have to focus this guy. Could kill me right now. But I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh, Ooh, I saw that coming. So you can just chop them and chop them and chop them with your hand and you will go down. Don't get grabbed by that. So if he starts revving up, I guess it's turning into a strategy guy <laughs> if you've never played this now at this point. If he starts revving up like that, he's going for a grab. If you're a fighting game player, that's a command grab. You can't block that. You can't block that either. Uh, can you break through this though? Oh man, I should fucking like. That was a little risky. Oh, with like five attacks. Get my stamina back. Oh. Good thing that doesn't go super far. Uh oh. Trying to bait me. Almost done, but he can still win. All he needs is like one hit. One opening for me to make a huge mistake. I'm not gonna give it to him though. I forgot I can charge attacks in this game. Boom! <laughs> that was pretty sick. He's done. Oh, that was kind of close. <laughs> I ran out of stamina. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, that was the. Uh, Bad move by on his end. Oh, he's done for. What is he? He doesn't even really give you that much. He just gives you three blood vials. So all that work, like ten minutes of uh, my hands are already moist. That's one thing I've noticed playing. Oh yeah, 
One thing I've noticed playing all these is Souls games, my hands get very wet quickly while playing them. But it doesn't really happen in other games. I got the detail. You can just look around rooms and the world building is just too good in, in the Souls games. Like you just look around and uh, just the environment tells a story, which is cool. And of course, if you don't give a fuck about that, you can just like run right past them, up to this door, go through it, go through the next door and like the first lantern, which are basically the checkpoints of this game. And all those little messages I'm uh, reading are player messages. They're little, uh, I forgot what they're called, messengers. And they really obsess and really like the hunters in this game. And so they leave little helpful hints. You know, you see another player right there. I am connected online. He probably didn't deal with the wolf. He didn't even take off his hood. But yeah, these little hunter guy, uh, little hunters friends, worshippers, they leave messages that other players leave behind. Has a very ambient style, uh, style of online. So I can just kind of look around without worrying about that that werewolf. Very gorgeous game. Pick up some quicksilver bullets. That's the clinic. So you can't open that door until a, a good chunk of the way in the game. We'll be coming back there later, maybe if I ever get that far in there. Recording these. I love how deliberate you open big gates in this game. So yeah, first area complete. So uh, you may have noticed my amazing skills at this game already. Excuse me. A little bit of a burp. I had a little bit of a bev before playing this. So I'm all ready to go. All loosened up with that. But anyway. So yeah, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty okay at Souls games. And by that I mean I'm really good in my local scene here for the Souls games. I win every single weekly, that's for sure. No competition, literally. And I got ninth place in the in Souls Souls War Nationals 2015. Anyways, I'm gonna give these guys the the loop to loop. So I have, I have to equip items, that's right, I just did something right there. So these guys are just like, oop, pissed off villagers. You know it's that messenger with the, the player icon, oh god, had to, uh, I hate that. You're gonna hear me rant about that at some point in this run. The hit circle to jump. So, oh man, anyway, what was it? I love that touch of the... Oh, that scream, very foreboding. You're not sure what it is when you're first playing. It could be anything. Uh oh. <laughs> 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 no time to read that message. I hope you read that. I read like four words of it. Uh, basically, those lamps take you to the hunter's dream. 